Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Yeah, all good? If you have any question, can you all make sure to click on the icon with the hand mark? And then I can um, let you speak and you can ask your question. But the whole class will go slowly, so you should all be able to follow me. The only material that you need today is minimum two pieces of paper, ideally one extra. And you must have gotten lots of pencil in the art kit. Yeah. Can you, can you get one pencil and eraser and a sharpener just in case? And also glue. Have you got glue? Got it? Okay. And later on, if we have time, you'll be coloring it in. So if you have paint, it can be any kind of paint or coloring pencil or colorful textures. Can you get it out? Oh wow, Nessa, you've got you've got lots. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve colors. Have you all got all the material ready? All good? Okay, so today we're going to collect lots of different kind of textures. So I'm going to start off, let's start off by doing this together. And then the last two, I'll ask you all to go around the house and see if we can um, find our own textures. So what we're gonna be doing today is, now, the first piece of paper, can you please draw one line all the way down, all the way down, straight line, all the way down. Got it? Oh, nice. Nice, okay. Now, can you all draw another one? just in the middle of the page, right in the middle of the page. Can you draw a line that goes across like that? Got it? How straight did you get it? Did you get it straight? Oh, okay, great. Now we're gonna go one across this way and another one across this way. Are you ready? Have you got your pencil? Here we go. Gonna go across. And one more down this way. Mine's a little bit wobbly. That's okay. Oh, Vanessa, I can see yours. Got it? Easy? Yep. Looking good. Looking good. If you've only just um, joined the class, can you please draw one line down the middle and one, two, three lines across? Whoops. Got it? It's easy so far, right? Now, we're going to create our own patterns now. First box here. Can you see if you can make this square interesting by, I'm just gonna turn it into a square. Just this square here, the first square, by drawing, do you all know how to do swirls? Can you see that? Can you make this square look interesting by doing all kinds of swirls? You can turn it into your own little square. You can do big squares, big swirls, small swirls, medium swirls. What kind of swirl will you do? I'm mixing it up. I'm doing a couple of little ones and some big ones. You see that? Let's fill it up with lots and lots of swirls and see what happens. So you can do ones with lots and lots of curls inside. 
or you can do one with just a few curls. It's a short one. It's all up to you. You can do it just the way you like. So mine's all proud, proud. Round, round, round. Oops. Oh, I think I can fit just a few more now. One, two, three, four, maybe one more here. Look at all that. So many swirls. What does yours look like? Oh, Isaiah, look at that. It looks like a maze. Cool. Nessa, yours almost look like some of some of those, some of them, they look like ra um, rainbows, rainbow swirls. <laughs> look at Marcus's. His is going down. There's all sorts of swirls. We're all doing swirls, but they all look a little bit different. Isn't it interesting? Alicia, what does yours look like? Oh, lots of them, lots of tiny ones, cute. Jemima, how about you? Can we have a look? Oh, look at that. Yours is nice and tight and full. Really nice, good, good. And Anne's done hers too. Tambi, how are you going? Good, okay. Are we ready for the next one? This way, okay. This time we're gonna do something a little bit different. Here we go. We're gonna do three lines this way, but we're gonna go one long, you see that? One long and two shorter ones. One long and two shorter. Long, short, long, short. Can you do this? Long and too short, long, too short, long, two short ones. Now when you get used to it, you can do it really quickly. Long, too short, long, too short, long, too short, long, too short, long, too short. Does it look like anything at all? Yeah. All right. Here's the eyes to get it nice and full. Got it. Now, once you've got once you've got the verticals, we're gonna go sideways this time. So we're gonna do from here. We're gonna do one, two. We're gonna we're gonna cross them. One, two. You see if you can cross all the three lines that you just did. Two lines. Two lines. How does that look? Different to this one, isn't it? We're still using pencil, but this looks so much different. Got it? Got it? Now the third square. Okay, now, once you've got that one, are you all ready for this square? This time, we're gonna do one that looks like a wave, something that, that's more calming, yeah? So we're, I'm gonna go, your wave can be a bit different. My wave's gonna go calm, and then this way, whoosh. A couple of waves going across the page. Waves. 
What, how would you create your waves? Can you make it really wavy? Can you make some fish? Can you add some fish in your drawing? Can you let some fish, fish swim through the waves? There's one fish. Maybe what about this one? This one can turn into, this one can be a big fish here. I'm going to turn one of the waves into a fish. Does that, does that look like a fish? Maybe do one more fish here. I'll do one here. Then add some more lines. What happens when you add lots and lots of lines? How wavy is it? Look at that. What does your wave look like? Oh, Isaiah, what's in your wave? <laughs> that is so cute. I love it. I love the little character you drew there. So cute. Oh, Alicia's got lots of fish. Tambi's got one too. Whoa. Did, did anybody draw a shark? No sharks? Are they all little fish? Yeah. A big fish? Little fish and big fish? I might, I might color some of these a little bit dark. And I might give some scales on this one. Just give some little textures. Like that. So I've got three fish swimming in the sea. Whoa, Nessa, you've got so much going on. One of the fish is looking this way. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Marcus, you got yours too? Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Now, I think we're all ready for this one. This time, we're going to use short little drawing marks to see what we can do. Ready? Little short little drawings. So we're going to go diagonally, not, not straight down and not this way, but we're going to go diagonal. You ready? So we're going to go little short lines, diagonal. If it's hard holding your pencil like this, you can hold it like this too from the top. Whichever way you feel comfortable, you can get creative with the way you hold your pencil too. Got it? All good? Yeah. Once you've got that, you can go diagonal this way this time. Okay? So we're going to go this way. See that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many would you do? Got lots. Got lots happening here. Alicia, are you okay? Is my video frozen? No? Can you all see me? Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to go down this way again. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Got twenty-one. How about you? Twenty-six. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Lisa's got through thirty-six. Oh, all right. Okay. Now, how about going this time? Should we try going vertical? You ready? I'm going to go faster this time. We're going to go straight down, straight down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Straight down. And then from here, if you've got this much space left, with all the space left, 
you can use little marks and you can go anywhere, anywhere you want. If you want to go flat, you can go flat. What about double lines? Double, double lines, flat. Lots of little lines. What happens to your page when you do lots of little lines? I'm going to go diagonal again this way and then diagonal again this way. Maybe I'll keep going. Maybe I'll keep doing the diagonal. And then the last few, the last bit, I'm going to do three horizontal lines. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is the pattern that I got on my fourth box. What did you do? Oh, whoa. you all came up with your own ideas. How cool do they look? Do you like yours? Does it look like anything? Looks nice. Yeah. Some of yours look like carpet. Oh, Nessa, yours is exploding. Cool. Marcus, you've got long lines. All right. Okay. Now, let's do two more together. And then this one, I'm going to give you a little task to do. Yeah. So this one, are you ready? Shall we try and, okay, so right here, can you all see if you can draw lines growing? So from the bottom, can you make things, can you make a long stem grow out of the bottom? It's growing all the way to the ceiling, all the way up, 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 up. To the ceiling. Can you make it reach up? And then, and then, how can we turn this into a plant? What kind of plant can you turn this into? I'm thinking I'm going to try and make it look like a sea plant. So it's got round, round leaves. You can do your own. Yours can look a little bit different. Can you turn it into something like a plant? One, two, three. See that? Got my first plant. The next one. I might turn one of them into a flower. And do little dots. Still do dots. Do another one. Maybe another one with a flower at the top. And more leaves. More little leaves. Maybe a big leaf here and little leaves. You can do your own. Have you ever seen a plant like this? I feel like I've seen something kind of a little bit similar in the ocean, like a seaweed or something. Yeah. How big did you all do your leaves? Did anybody do giant leaves like this one? What if you did like leaves inside leaves and flowers inside the big leaf? What would, what would happen if you did that? 
Vanessa. Oh, that's so bushy. Cool. Isaiah, what did you do with yours? Oh, you've even got color. Oh, that's nice. They're gorgeous. Oh. Did anybody else do something different? Oh, Tavi. Tavi, can you can you bring yours closer to the screen? Whoa, look at all the details. All oh, the lots of hoops. Nice. All right, good work. Adira, did you get anything done? Have you got your plants? And Jemima? If you've got it, could I have a look? Alicia's got hers. Oh, oh yeah, nice. I can see all the flowers. Yeah. Oh, Adira. Oh, are they butterflies? Or are they plants? Yeah, they're butterflies. Very nice. Okay. Now, are you all, are you all finished with your plants? Are you ready for the last one together? Ready? This time, we're going to start from the middle. Are you all ready, guys? We're going to start from the middle and then do lines going to the end of your square. And then we're going to start in the middle again and then go this way. And then from here, can you turn this into something like a fireworks? Can you make flames going out from the center? They're all exploding. Lots of lines going from the center all the way to the outside. Lots and lots of lines shooting out. Ooh. Make them go out. Fly out. Like that. Something like that. Have you all seen fireworks? Sometimes you can see like round. Sometimes the flames look round like that too. Or well, sometimes you might see the flames going. I don't know, how do fireworks look like to you? See how you can draw it in different ways, just using a pencil? Okay. So that's my fireworks. Whoa, look at all the lines. Oh, so many. They look like look like you've got hundreds of lines there. Can you all see each other's? Once you've finished, can you lift it up and put it put it next to the camera so you can you can share it with your friends? Oh, Jemima's got hers. Jemima, can you can you put it closer to the camera? Ooh, yep, yep. Cool. Tambi's got hers too. Adira's got hers. Lisa, Alicia, how did you go? Yeah, all right, nice. Okay, I think we're all up to this. Okay, the last two squares. These are, this is gonna be a little bit of an exercise, okay. So now, can you all look around your house and see if you can't, if you can find either a piece of fruit or a vegetable? Can you look for a piece of fruit or a vegetable? I'm going to get my mandarin. Does anybody, can you find something from, from where you are? Okay, Alicia. Yep. 
Isaiah, have you, have you got a piece of fruit or a veggie somewhere in the house? It can be anything. You might have cucumbers. You might have a carrot. You might have a lettuce. What do you have? Maybe an apple? Oh, Marcus has got a banana. Marcus, you can start looking. If you look really close, what kind of patterns do you see on your banana? See, on mine, I've got, there's lots and lots of little dots. You can see lots of little dots. Oh, Ness has got a carrot. <laughs> looks like it looks delicious. Okay, everybody, once you've got that, can you look really closely? Can you look really closely at your fruit or your vegetable and find all the details on it? See, I've got lots of tiny, tiny little dots. And if I look here, see there's little wrinkles and there's more little dots inside. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna look close and can you draw all the details in here? Can you collect all the details you see in here? Isaiah, Isaiah, can you find an icon with a hand mark on the screen? And can you click it? Can you click on your screen, a uh, mark with a hand? Or can you type your qu question? So what you're basically doing is looking for all the details. So I'm going to start with lots of little dots. Is that okay? Cool. You got an orange? Yeah, that's great. Then Isaiah. Can you look at your orange really close up and see what kind of patterns you can find on the surface of your orange? And can you try and draw that on here? See, I've got lots of little dots, but when I look really close, there's little dots and big dots. So I'm going to do some big dots too. Little dots. And some bigger dots. Little dots. And some bigger dots. Okay. So many dots on my on my little mandarin. And then in the center, I've got a little crease. Little crease and some lines. That's what my Mandarin looks like flat. Nessa, whoa, whoa, what? Which? Oh, that's that's your carrot, isn't it? How many lines are on your carrot? Do you find all the little lines, little lines and big lines? Did you all find your, did you all find your vegetable? Yeah, all the details on the surface. Adira, what did you find? What are you drawing? Oh, an apple. What's on your apple? Can I see, can you lift it a little bit higher up? Oh, you've got dots on your apples too. Cool. Tommy, how about you? What did you find? Oh, yeah. Nice. And Isaiah and Marcus, have you got all the dots as well? Did you find anything else? Did you only find dots? Did you find anything else on your vegetable or your fruit? No? Got it? Okay. Now, once you've all finished your fruit or your veggie, can you put this to the side? 
in the last square, you can make up your own pattern, something different to these ones that you just did. Or you can look for something else in the house and draw the pattern on here. But you're only using pencil again. See how we've only used pencil in all the boxes? Can you continue with just the pencil to create your own pattern in here, the last one? Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna invent my own. Okay, Isaiah, you can put it back, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna make my own. I think I'm gonna go this time, I'm gonna go horizontal. Maybe do a couple of horizontal lines. And then some vertical lines. And then another one going down with a big drop. What else could I do? Maybe two circles and a line and a square, maybe make it double. And I'm gonna add some waves on the top, like we did before. Do some waves. This time it's gonna be a little bit different to last one. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna do zigzags. You can even color some of them with your pencil. What happens if you color it in? Color in some parts. Then I might color in one of the lines as well, maybe around here. I might color in this part. Color it all in. Okay. That's what mine looks like. What does yours look like? Whoa, Nessa, you've got lots of blue lines going across. Whoa, and Alicia's got vertical lines. Adira, oh Adira, you've got, oh, oh, did you do stars? Are they stars? Are you all doing okay? Now, once you've got, once you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to use this to make a new artwork on here. Yeah, we're gonna use all of this to create a new piece of work. Is everybody doing okay? Have you all finished? Who needs some more time? Who needs more time? Okay, okay. Keep going if you need more time. If you have finished with all your all eight, you can start cutting them out. Okay. You can use, if you have scissors, you can use scissors. If you don't, this is this is what you can do. Just with your hands, you can tear it. Because if you tear it, see how see how the edge it becomes nice and soft. See how this bit here is really sharp. But if you tear it, you get a soft edge. That can look interesting too. So I'm just gonna keep tearing. Tear all the way down. Tear all the way down. Pay 
page. So now it's separate. And I'm going to go this way now. Mm. Let's see what it looks like. Got this one. I might cut down around here too, so I can get rid of the white white border. Gonna tear my fingers. Go all the way around. See, paper number one. Now I'm going to cut the wave as well. And cut down all the way down the wave. This. Then down this one as well. Go all the way down. That. And that's my little mandarin. You know, what's my mandarin. I want it to look like a mandarin, so I'm going to cut a circle around it. Yeah. You can make some of your, you can turn some of your squares into a different shape if you like. It doesn't have to stay a square. So, for example, See this one here. I'm going to cut it so it turns into a different shape. So this one, first I'm going to go that. And then I'm going to go wriggly. I'm going to go up, down, up, down. How would you cut your paper? You can turn it into a shape that you like. You can make it into a funny looking shape, a beautiful looking shape, or a mysterious looking shape. I'm not sure what my shape looks like. What would it look like when it comes out? Okay, done. See? That was my fireworks. Now it kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe like a flat flower or something. Okay, what about hmm, this one? How can I cut this one? Maybe I'll go down this way. But the bottom, the bottom part, I'm going to make it a little bit. Uh, a little bit like a bit of a zigzag, zigzag, up, down, up, down. Do a bit of a zigzag. Yeah. And then maybe I'll just leave this one straight. So that's been torn, but this one is still left straight. And now the last two, the last two. I'm going to tear, tear the last two. You know what? I might even keep the last two together. I might keep it together, it's stuck together. Yeah. Now, once you've got a couple of your pages, pieces, Cut out, see all this? We're going to stick this on a second piece of page and turn it into a brand new piece of art. So, ooh. okay, this time I'm going to turn my page this way. And you can choose one of your page first. I'm going to start with this one, I think. And choose one and decide if you want to put it this way, this way, this way. What kind of pattern will look interesting on your page? I think I'm going to start around, maybe around here. Yeah. 
So once you've decided where you're going to put it and get your glue, your glue, and then I put some glue on the back, back of this. on the back of it and then oh Marcus you've cut that in a really interesting shape look at that oh look at all the zigzags cool how would you use that my first page my first paper is going to go on the page in an angle like that now once you've got your first one you can grab another one and decide, would you overlap it? Or would you put it on the other side of your page, other corner of your page? Or would you make it stick out on the bottom? I think, I think I'll do that. Why not? It can stick out of the page a little bit. Let's see what happens when I do that. So, can I get some glue? And put some glue on the back of my paper. And I'm going to stick it here. Like that. So the fish is swimming on the bottom of the page. And I've also got this. I think this can go somewhere. Maybe these plants. These are plants up there, yeah. These plants, I'm gonna let the plants grow. I'm gonna let the plants go grow next to the fish around here. So once you've decided, I can get some more glue again. And put some glue on the back of the page. Just enough, just enough glue, not too much. And yeah. I think it needs to go next to it, just to balance it out. I think, I think that will look good. That. Now I've still got three. I've still got three. Oh no, I've got four. Hmm, maybe. Maybe the swirls. Remember the first swirls we did? Maybe I'll put the swirl there. And then let the orange float on top of the wave. Maybe, maybe even in the middle. And then maybe this will go behind it. Okay, that might work. You can move the paper around everybody and think before you glue it on and put one here. And then think, does it work? Or does it look better? Does it look more interesting if you put it over here? Where is the best spot for your work? I think, I think I still like mine up there. So let me get some glue. Stick some on the back. Then stick this on the top of the page. Once I've got that, I'm going to get my mandarin or a big mandarin and stick put some glue on the back again. And maybe I was going to put the mandarin there, but maybe I think changed my mind. I think I'm going to put it a little bit to the side. So there's more space for this. See, you can see that better. So the fireworks can go a little bit, a little bit above, up here, just above the mandarin. And I need to put some more glue because it's peeling. It's peeling on the bottom. Make sure there's enough glue on all the corners. 
Ooh, I think Isaiah, are you finished? How did everybody else go? I've still got one more. I've got one more. Hmm. This one. You know what? This one, I'm going to tear it again. I think it's too, I think it's too big. I'm going to tear it and put one around here and the other one, other one around here. Okay. Now, those of you who finished gluing it, you can start coloring it in. You can, you can find all the color, the coloring material that you got in your art kit. And you can start thinking about what color you might want to use. So I've got, I think this is the last one. I think this is the last one for me. Put that there. Okay. Ta -da! This is what mine looks like. Now, you can either, if you have space like me around here, you can even add more lines to it. You can turn it into something else. So you can continue using lines with pencil and create a design that you like. I'm just doing this so that it, there's something that matches what's happening down here. Yeah. So I've got these ones. And then maybe some vertical ones. Maybe this line here can continue going up. Why not? Maybe this one can go this way. Yeah. Now once you're once you're fairly happy with that, I think I'm pretty good with this. And I put this down. Make sure the glue is closed so it doesn't dry up. And you can get your paint. Yay, Zaya. Can you can you type? Have you got your question? It's five, oh, it's 5.52, everybody. We've got eight minutes to go. Are you all doing okay? Thanks for letting me know, Zaya. We've got to really focus. Okay, let's see. Let's see about color. You can all start thinking about yours. If you finished gluing, you can start putting color on. I've got yellow in the middle. And make, maybe I might mix a little bit of orange, maybe a splash of orange. And this one, you can all think about a good color for yours. I think I'm gonna turn this one, um, maybe green, why not? I'm gonna use some green. Yeah. So Soil's gonna be green with a little bit of a little bit of yellow here to reflect that. And I think this, I think we need a bit of a bit of yellow on this side too. Yeah. And then every now and then you can turn your page, you can you can lift up your page and study it like that and see if it looks good. Is it working for you? Is the color balance okay? Does it look just like how you want it to look? Then up here, I might do some more orange. Okay. Tambi, is it working for you? Does it look all right? Yeah? Okay. Oh. 
I wonder how you're coloring it. Once you're finished, let's share it with each other. Yeah. So until then, you can, you can keep working at your own pace. Okay, and I've still got my bit of blue up here. Blue. We get some darker blue. Maybe some darker blue up here. Darker blue. Hmm. How many colors are you using? You're using lots or just a few? Because I probably got green up here. Got that so far. I've still got lots of lots of bits left. Maybe we need some. Maybe I'll make this this work really colorful. I'm thinking of adding. Oh, Isaiah, I love your paint. So nice and thick. Cool. Okay. So see everybody, there's lots of different ways to paint. Isaiah's painted his really thick. Mine's a lot thinner than his. I'm using watercolor. I think Nessa's got acrylic. Yes, well done, Nessa. Got acrylic paint. Acrylic paint will be a little bit thicker than the paint that I'm using. And then once you've got that, you can go into other details. Yeah. Are, you, are you all doing okay? No one needs help? Okay. Just making these lines thicker. It's exaggerating the lines. Then maybe, maybe add some yellow here and there. That. Now, hmm. Ooh, looking good. How's everyone's looking? You doing all okay? Yeah. Yes, that's good. Okay. Thumbs up. Okay. Lucy, are you doing okay? Marcus, are you okay? Tumby, good. Good, good. Okay. Good, good. All right. So everybody, you've got about three minutes. Let's see, let's try and do as much as we can. Okay. You know how it works, right? Whatever you don't finish now, you can finish later on. Or you can add more to it afterwards. Okay. Got lots of colors now. Maybe, hmm. oh yeah, I've got to do this bit here. I think the fish, the ocean can be blue. Blue, maybe blue with some, maybe I might mix some different colors. Blue ocean. What color did you all, what color did you all paint your fish? Did you paint your fish? I'm going to paint one of mine red. Turn it into a red fish. And maybe I'll do a red fish and an orange one, maybe two orange fish. Cute little orange fish. Okay. Oh, whoops, two more minutes. Is anybody finished? I don't think I'm gonna finish in time. I've still got all this part. How are you going? Oh, nice. Isaiah, I like how you did the zigzag on this side. That's interesting. Oh, Nessa, look at, wow, you've got color explosion. Cool. <laughs> Nessa, see, see you've still got some of the white parts left. 
Would you like to keep it white or do you think you'll add more color later? Finished? Or not finished? Finished? Yeah. This out. Can I see yours? Who else is finished? Adira, how's yours looking? Look cool. Can you can you all lift up your work so you, all your friends can see? Marcus, you've worked hard. Oh, look at that. You've oh, did you glue them all? Some of the cerules, you've cut them out, yeah? Yeah, good. Oh, whoa, Tambi. Can you put that close? Look at the rainbow in the middle. Yes, green, orange, some black lines. Isaiah's got blue. Oh, oh, Isaiah, you use textures. Is that right? I thought you were painting. Did you use textures? Like or markers? I like the colors you use. Yeah. Did anybody else use textures or crayons? Or did you all, did most of you use paint? Oh, Nuzat's using, oh, Nuzat's using textures. Yeah. Right, everybody. So everybody, we're just about to run out of time. If like me, you've still got these spaces left, you can continue painting tonight. You can even continue adding more pencil marks if you decide you need more marks. You can add more pencil marks too until you feel like it's completely finished. And if you're happy with your work, do you think you can take a photo and send it to the school for us? So we can share it with everybody on our online gallery. Next week, we're gonna do something completely different again. So if you have time, come and join us, yeah? How did you all go? Who found it easy? Easy? Who found it really hard? Was it really hard for some of you? No? <laughs> Too easy? All right, thank you everyone. I think it's time to stop. Um, can you take the photo and send it to us? Yeah? If you're happy with your work, then uh, take a photo, tell your parents to uh, take a photo and send it to us. And uh, we will see you next week. See you, everybody. Thank you, Peter. All right, I'm going to unmute everyone. Bye, everybody. So say goodbye to Miss Magical. Bye, Miss Michiko. Bye. Bye. I'll miss you for a week. I'll see you next week. Bye, Miss. Have a good night. See you, Miss. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, I'll see you Bye. next week. Okay, enjoy our next week. We got a different Bye. topic next week. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.